Stay alive, you hear me? That's an order. Someone will find you. I promise. Hey guys, what's up? Shin0525 here, back with more Let's Play Jack 3. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and it really help me out, and I appreciate it. I wonder what all this says. Because, like, each one of these, like, letters, there's, like, an alphabet to it. So, they say some, but it looks like it's, like, just, like, a few words repeated. So, I wonder what it says. Someone probably took time to, like, translate all of it. Are these, like, letters, too? Yeah, no, th those are letters going super fast. And, like, can I get on the other side of this? There we go. Like, what is this? That doesn't look good. If that's, like, a sonar, we're getting, like, surrounded, like, instantly. But anyway, we're heading to the sewer. To do some junction box thing, maybe? I don't know. We'll see when we get out. Take a zoomer. The city's lost. The city's lost. Not on my watch, it isn't. Um... Uh... Oof, that's so dangerous. See, it's funny, because, like... I wouldn't say the last time, but the first time I played Jack and Daxter, I didn't drive, because I was a kid. But now that I drive, like, that is so scary, like, looking away for a second, and then having, like, another car, like, right in front of you like that. And that's all it takes, is just looking away just for, like, one second. Oh, yeah, these are weird, like, monkey robots. I'll kill most of them. Oh, here we go. Oh, I just made that. That was perfect. Good timing on that. It looks like we gotta go that way. Yeah, it looks like that's the only way we can go. Oh, we use the grenade launcher. Boom! Bye bye. God, this is a very like heavily guarded sewer. Would this thing like die if it gets hit by the like lasers? Like, no, he doesn't come that far. That reminds me of, like, uh, that Family Guy episode where Brian and Stewie are, uh, in the bank where Brian gets, like, a gun from his, uh, safety deposit box, and they fire it and, it, like, ricochets everywhere. It's like, that's every time Jack fires this gun. Oh. My punch was just a little too short. You know, I highly recommend buying that damage upgrade. And buying the ammo capacity, that's just like a godsend. Again, using this gun, it's like there's no enemies in the game. Looks like we gotta do some hoverboarding. That's fine. King. Oh no! There we 
There we go. Easy stuff. Nothing to worry. Whoa. Oh. What's cool is like when you come back here after you beat the game, I think it always plays the cutscene. That's just like a cutscene slide. And I believe there's a secret right here. Oh, come on, Jack. Get up there. Oh my god, Jack. There we go. I'd say one precursor works fine for that one. That one's not actually hard to find. I actually never noticed this ladder here before. Where does this lead? Ooh, even more secrets. See, that one was... See, like, this secret's like a decoy for that other secret. So you don't, like find it because I actually don't think I've ever noticed that ladder before I wonder if I got that in my like beta version I need to go back and check it can you you could just hoverboard up here too by the way you don't actually have to like is a oh. Oh. die that's just a perfect spot to use the peacemaker that's why I did it. I like how they like tell you to like dive, because like you only need to use it like twice in the entire game. They're like, oh yeah, here's this like one move that you could do. Oh, it blew up. Here's this like one move that you can do. That that was like useful in like the first game. God, it's crazy, like, it's crazy thinking back at, like, Jack 1, you know? Like, we were just, you know... See, like, I really like Jack 1. Like, Jack 1's such a great, like, adventure platforming game. Like, the world's great. Yo, yeah, yeah, you can kill him. Kill him. Again, I don't know why they put these platforms here, because you can just hoverboard over it, like, no, no issues. Time to flip the switch. Nice. You guys keep the surprises coming. The power room door is now open, Jack. Get out of the sewer. This is such a cool sewer system. Oh, this is the room I was talking about. I don't have enough light eco, do I? Oops. Oops. Whoops. Wasted that. Oh well. Now I'll we'll have to come back here when we have like infinite light eco that you get at the end of the game. And you basically just like shield your way through it. So you just hold down the shield and then just jump on the platforms. It's actually a pretty cool idea. But I think it's just like secret that you just get precursor orbs and stuff. So nothing too crazy. Alright, let's go to the control room. Boom! And we made it. And we're gonna see an old friend. We should, I think, right? Ah, remember this place? I sure miss good old Vin. Yeah, he was a good guy. Oh, he's a dead. Crazy. Never mind. Hey, who you calling crazy? I can't help it if the world is out to get me. Vin! Wait a minute, is that you? Yeah, it's me. Or actually, no, it's not. I'm a multi-layered, hyperlinking, digi-memic, bioconstruct, super-clocked, mega-memory construct, baby. Did you understand a word he said? 
when the city was overrun by metalheads. Before they got to me, I dumped my brain into the ego grid. Everything's great now. Those monsters can't get me in here. Or can they? Listen, Ben, I'm happy you're whatever you are. But right now, I need to get into the war factory, but the doors are sealed. We think the code to open the doors is hidden in this system. It is. Really? Positive. Can you get it for us? Negative. Why not? Because if you have half a brain cycle, you'd know that those access codes are guarded by the central system. Ancient, nasty circuits in there. Even we bit brains can't nibble around there without getting our butts erased. Just get us close. Oh, sure, yeah. <laughs> it's your death. If you fail, I can always use a companion in here. All of the fun we'll have. Let's hope. Oh, God, let's hope. It doesn't come to that. <laughs> when I put you into the system, the main security will slam down hard. It'll be up to you to beat the system and get out, or get eco-zapped for good. You check some? Okay, Vin Baby! Jack me in! Wait for it, wait for it. Okay, input! Game on! Alright, so we're actually playing Pac-Man. How do you... How do I... How do I switch rows? Oh, do you... Oh, okay, you have to, you have to do it with the analog stick. All right. Thanks, thanks for letting me know, game. Game on! Bop, 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 bop. Look out! No. Oh, is it dropping more? You son of a bitch. All right. Man, it's been a while since I stretched my Pac-Man muscles. I erased everything. The Ooh. system defenses are down! Get in the thing, Daxter. There we go. You beat the system. Oof. Good thing you only have to do that once. Got the cipher. Great work, Jack. She's got the info beam here. That cipher key will unlock the war factory doors. We'll get on it right away and get back to you. Listen, Ben, we've got things to do, but we'll keep in touch. We promise. Oh, I bet Jack will keep in touch. He's a good guy like that. We can't use this eco vent. Or the eco transport, whatever it's called. Whatever. Teleporter. Alright, it looks like we officially have done everything we needed to do in Haven City for now. So I guess we're gonna head back to the desert. Nice. It's like last chance for like someone's head to pop out telling me to do something. All that high jump. And let's see. Yep, no. Just heading back to the desert. And you take this car. I don't think we were able to do it yet. We take uh, this, um... I like how the zoomers in the cutscene, too. This takes you back to the desert. Bing bada boom. And since we unlocked the fast uh, hoverboard in the desert now, so we can go super fast. And just to show it off, because, like, honestly, you go through the racetrack faster on the hoverboard than if you did the car, which is insane. But I do want to show off some really cool, some, like, cool spot that, um, where is it? Oh, it's right there. Whoosh. 
So again, in my hours of playing Jack 3, well, I guess there's a thing here, so I guess you, you are supposed to, like, go there. Um, I just found the staircase. It literally leads to nowhere, and it's, like, the only, like, big staircase in this game. It's so weird. Like, it's, like, the only staircase like this. I don't know, it's just weird. It just sticks out. I think there might be precursor orbs on these islands. Maybe? No. Are there? Now just islands you can go to. Try to avoid staying out of the water so we don't get a... Uh, but look how fast you go on the hoverboard. It's like, god damn. If you do go far enough out, the cars will start coming after you. But like... Ow. The only thing they could do is shoot you, which is annoying. You don't want to touch them. But you can like outrun them. Like look how fast you go. So cool. Even the mud doesn't slow you down. So I highly recommend buying the faster desert hoverboard. It's so much fun. I just wish you can turn off the cars that try to kill you all the time. Hey, Sig. Mother Storm's really turning the sand. Scanners show a few new artifact sightings. You two up for some rough riding? Sure. I can race with the best of them. Good. Take the vehicle and bring us back some booty. You know the drill. Get to the artifacts first, and they're yours to claim. Wastelander right. Go get them! Alright guys, I'm actually going to end the video here because I didn't realize uh, we just jump into a cutscene. So, um, I'm going to end the video here. It's a little short, but next video we'll do some old artifact hunting. So, yeah. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, thanks. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. This is the pre-recorded end slate where I just get you to like, comment, subscribe. Ask you to do that one more time. Share the video. It really helps me out. Uh, also, if you want to follow me on any of my social medias, they are all linked in the description below. Feel free to um, check me out on any of those. Um, also, I'd like to give a shout out to Guardian Saiyan. Really great friend of the channel. Really helps me out a lot. And I always like to try to link his stuff in the description below as well. All that's down there. Uh, also, if you want to catch me live, I stream live right here on YouTube every Monday and Friday uh, at 6 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time, uh, U.S. So if you're free uh, whenever that is, uh, feel free. Monday I stream Pokemon, and then Friday I just stream a uh, game in my backlog. And uh, if you want to catch up on any of those, links to the playlists are up on my channel. So uh, anyway, guys, thank you.